Hey guys, Michigan Edge here. Uh, ordered in a couple knives before Christmas. Uh, just got them in. I think they're very good value knives. Wanted to share with you and uh, keep it real and just do an unboxing, kind of give you my thoughts on what I'm seeing and show you. Okay, got the bubble, standard bubble wrap here. I'm probably going to do two parts this video. Uh, here's one, I'll do this one second, just to give you an idea. Alright guys, here's, uh, here's the one I've been waiting for right here. I'll do a quick look at this here and show you guys uh, what we're getting. What we have here is the uh, Cold Steel GI Tanto. I was on Cold Steel website and I came across this and I was checking out reviews. And the first thing that came to my mind on this was, uh, I thought it was one ugly ass knife. <laughs> I said, this thing looks ugly as hell. Uh, but it was still intriguing to me. I thought the sheath looked really good. And I thought the, uh, the knife looked kind of rugged, even though I thought it was ugly. And just like anything I purchase, I always go on YouTube and I check out, uh, reviews and and whatnot and what impressed me with this knife here is uh, all the torture tests and whatnot that were done to it so let's see what we're getting here I've never actually seen one of these in person uh, this is the uh, GI Tanto here I'm gonna just give you guys the specs real quick off of uh, Cold Steel's website the blade is 7 inches, overall length of 12 inches. This is made out of 1055 carbon steel. It's got an overall weight of 10.6 ounces, a blade thickness of 4 millimeters. The handle scales, uh, they call it, I believe it's a polypropylene scales. Looks like some kind of uh, just Zytel or glass filled nylon handle scales. And the sheath is a uh, Securex sheath, they call it. Uh, feeling the knife, guys, it feels very nice. Uh, feels great in the hand. The finish on this knife looks very, uh, looks very good. Looks like they got a nice rough, uh, thick texturing to the, uh, to the blade, a nice coating. It says cold steel. Uh, made in China right there uh, GI Tanto The handle feels really good in the hands uh, I kind of like it guys, but I looked at this here. I thought it was kind of ugly But as I was looking at this blade here the first thing that came to my mind was uh, You know this would be a cool blade to kind of uh, personalize like, just by looking at this here, some things I like to do to this here is, is uh, cut off this top guard here. Maybe round this out a little more right here and make a comfortable spot for a, uh, for a nice finger trail there. Maybe wrap some kind of cordage around there just to uh, give it some cushioning. Uh, but I bought this knife, guys, because this knife right here was uh, just under $20 on Amazon. And... Looking at the videos on YouTube, there's a guy on, on YouTube, uh, he was uh, Russian, and his tests he was doing with this knife were, were, were what I thought was pretty cool. He was uh, taking this knife and punching, punching it through car doors over and over again, uh, using this as a chisel to cut through steel, and the everything he did, the blade held up good. He hammered this knife into a tree trunk and stood on it. Um, and it's not just the one video. There's tons of videos on there guys a lot of uh, impressive uh, Torture tests on this knife Also uh, at the price point I bought this too just for something to beat up with I could take this out and beat up with it I like to throw knives. So I'm gonna definitely throw this knife and for $20. I'm gonna put it through his pace uh, I'll probably end up widening out this hole right here this lanyard hole. I'll make that a little wider Get some kind of lanyard on here. But let's check out real quick how the sheath fits. Uh, everything I see on this knife, the most positive comments were the sheath. People really like this knife sheath. 
and they said that the sheet alone was worth twenty dollars. They felt, and uh, that's all the way in there right now. I can feel it's nice and tight. It's not uh, not going to come loose. Very good quality, guys. A lot of uh, ways you can fasten this the sheet to your leg or a backpack or whatnot. Vertical, sideways. Uh, pretty cool, guys. Let's see here. We got a little strap. Oh, strong strap. Yeah, there's no way this right here, if you carry it, it's going to fall out. Uh, this is kind of cool here. You can loop this to your belt, and it snaps for security instead of uh, looping your belt through there, which is pretty cool. And very tight fit, guys. Uh, for 20 bucks. I'll definitely put it through its pace. There'll probably be more videos to come on this, guys. I'll show you my mods I get, I did to it. Uh, let's check real quick, just out of box sharpness. There's some thick cardboard right here that was wrapped with a knife. And uh, you can see it's definitely very sharp. Everything I've gotten from cold steel has always been very sharp, so not a uh, shock there. But everybody, uh, cold steel GI Tanto, more to come. Thanks for checking this out. Michigan Edge, signing off.